In this video we will learn about Collatz conjecture. A conjecture is a proposition that is unproven. Conjectures are related to hypotheses which in science are empirically testable conjectures. In mathematics a conjecture is an unproven proposition that appears correct. Imagine a number any number if the number is an even number divided by 2 and if it is an odd number multiply it by 3 and add 1 for instance let's take 12 since the number is even we will divide by 2 and get 6 again an even number so we will again divide it by 2 we get 3 now 3 is an odd number so we will multiply by 3 which is 9 and add 1 Thus we get 10. Following these two rules we get the sequence 12, 6, 3, 10, 5, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. The conjecture is that no matter what value of n, the sequence will always reach 1. Some will reach faster, others take longer to reach 1. The conjecture is named after Lothar Kalatz, who introduced the idea in 1937, two years after receiving his doctorate. It is also known as the 3n plus 1 problem, the 3n plus 1 conjecture, the Ulam conjecture after Stanislaw Ulam, Kakutani's problem after Shizo Kakutani, the Thwaites conjecture after Sir Brian Thwaites, Hass's algorithm after Helmut Hass, or the Syracuse problem. The sequence of numbers involved is sometimes referred to as the hailstone sequence or hailstone numbers because the values are usually subject to multiple descents and ascents like hailstones in a cloud or as wondrous numbers. Every time I take an odd number and multiply by 3 and add 1, I get an even number. So why not take two steps at once, combine those two steps to 3n plus 1 over 2 when I get an odd number. That speeds things up a bit. And there are other tricks like that. Let's first take 7 and apply the rules till we get 1. Right. So far, all the numbers go down to 1, but we might start with another number. If we started with 5, we already see what the answer would be. Any number that appears here, we already know the answer. We don't have to do it again. What's the first number that doesn't appear here? I think it's 6. Let's try 6. Oh, there is 10. So, I should just draw the 3 going down to 10 instead. Now, I'm beginning to build up my own tree. And now I've tried all the numbers up through 7 and we have 8. I don't see 9. Let's try 9. 7. Let's connect this. Here I am starting to build my own tree. So the randomness of this is what seems to make it hard, the fact that you don't see a pattern and that no matter how hard you look, the patterns you see tend to be illusory somehow. They melt away when you look further, or you don't understand them, like the pattern of always going to one, that one holds sure, but we don't understand why it's there.